Prime Minister Narendra Modi is visiting Kerala today. During his two-day visit to the southern state, the Prime Minister will address the Combined Commanders Conference at INS Vikramaditya off the Kochi coast tomorrow. In his conference, uh, the Chiefs of Army, Navy and Air Force will brief the Prime Minister on national defence policy and operational challenges. On his first visit to Kerala after assuming office, Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a strong attack on the ruling Congress-led UDF and the CPIM, accusing them of indulging in loot of the state by turns during their tenure in power and hiding their sins. एक तीसरी शक्ति का उदय हुआ है केरल में ये जो तीसरी शक्ति दिखाई दे रही है वो शंकर के तीसरे नेत्र जैसी है जिस नेत्र से बुराइयां भस्म हो जाएगी भ्रष्टाचार नष्ट हो जाएगा पाप से मुक्ति मिलेगी ऐसा शंकर का तीसरा नेत्र ये तीसरी शक्ति उभर करके आ रही है Earlier, Prime Minister Modi was given a rousing welcome on his first ever visit to Kerala. Governor P. Sadashivam and Chief Minister Omen Chandi welcomed Prime Minister at the airport. From Kochi, Prime Minister reached Thrissur, where the entire city was decorated to welcome him. Prime Minister praised the youth of Kerala and said they can lead Digital India. Prime Minister said his government is giving priority to the safety of Indians living abroad and a large number of youth from Kerala are working abroad. Talking about the fishermen, Prime Minister said it is necessary to improve their condition. He said his government would soon come out with national policy for modernizing fishing industry in the country. हमारा फिशिंग इंडस्ट्री आधुनिक बननी चाहिए हमारे फिशरमैन को एक्सपोर्ट करने का अवसर मिलना चाहिए हमारे फिशरमैन के परिवार की जिंदगी में बदलाव आना चाहिए हमने एक कमेटी बनाई है विस्तार से उसकी चर्चा कर रहे हैं और मैं आने वाले दिनों में हिंदुस्तान भर के फिशरमैन के लिए एक प्रगतिशील योजना लेकर के आधुनिक फिशिंग व्यवस्था को लेकर के हिंदुस्तान के during his two-day visit to Kerala, the Prime Minister will address the Combined Commanders Conference, which is being organized on board INS Vikramaditya of the Kochi coast on Tuesday. The Combined Commanders Conference, an annual tri service, is even happening for the first time outside New Delhi. In the day-long conference, all service chiefs and other senior officers of the Army, Navy and Air Force brief the Prime Minister about military issues and put up suggestions as necessary. Later, the Prime Minister will also unveil former Chief Minister R. Shankar's statue at Kollam. The Congress has raised objection to Kerala Chief Minister Omen Chandi not being invited to the statue unveiling function. While Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh dismissed the charge as baseless and said the decision to withdraw the invite to Chandi for the event was taken by SNDP, a social organization which is hosting it due to its internal row and the government had nothing to do with it. यह कार्यक्रम एक सोशल आर्गनाइजेशन का कार्यक्रम था और उनके आमंत्रण पर प्रधानमंत्री जी ने वहां जाना और वहां के लेट चीफ जो फार्मर चीफ मिनिस्टर हैं आर शंकर जी की स्टैच्यू को अनवील करने की अपनी उन्हें कंसेंट दी थी वह आर्गनाइजेशन किसको आमंत्रित करता है किसको नहीं आमंत्रित करता है यह पूरी तरह से फैसला लेने का अधिकार यदि किसी का है तो उस सोशल आर्गनाइजेशन एस एन डी पी का है एस एन एस एन डी पी का है उससे प्रधानमंत्री जी का अथवा किसी का कोई लेना देना नहीं the Prime Minister will attend two major functions. The first is the Commander's Conference in Kochi. It will be held off Kochi Coast in INS Vikramaditya. And the second is the unveiling of the statue of R. Shankar, who was a former Chief Minister of Kerala at Essen College, Kolla. From there, he'll proceed to Shivagiri and from there to Trivandrum. It is the first time that the Prime Minister is visiting Kerala after assuming office, a momentous occasion for the people of Kerala. With camera person Swambulingam, this is Rashmi reporting for DD News.